Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet those super cute and easy little Christmas tree. You can use them um, to hang them on your Christmas tree as a garland for the kids room or you can even glue them onto your Christmas card or on your gifts. They are super super cute and they work up really really fast and now I will show you what we need and how to crochet those cute little Christmas trees. Today I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors or a darning needle. And I have some cute little mini pom-poms here. And the yarn I'm using today is the Catania Grande. It's a 100% cotton yarn and the recommended hook size is four to five millimeters. Of course, you can use any yarn you would like and the recommended hook size and I will put the link for the yarn down below and now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot and for my little tree I'm going to use 11 chains. So grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through until we have 11 chains. I just finished my 11 chains and now we will need the second stitch from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a stitch, so we will count one and two. We will be working in half double crochets, so you will yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch, grab the yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook. Now grab the yarn again and pull through all three loops. And this is our repeat. Just yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. And we will crochet one half double crochet in every stitch. I just finished all my half double crochets and let's get started with row two. So we will chain one, turn our work around. And the first thing we are going to do is crochet two half double crochets together. So you will yarn over, insert your hook into the very first stitch, grab the yarn and pull up. You have three loops on your hook and we will leave them on the hook now we will yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull up. You have five loops on your hook. Grab the yarn and pull through all five loops. And this is how you crochet two half double crochets together. Now it's just one half double crochet in every stitch until you reach the last two stitches. And the last two stitches we will crochet together. So I have one more stitch and here are the last two stitches and those we will crochet together. So again yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull up. Now again yarn over again Go into the last stitch right here. Grab the yarn and pull up. And again, we have five loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through all the loops. And this is how we crochet row two. For row three, you will chain one, turn your work around, and now we will crochet just one half double crochet in every stitch. So yarn over, insert into the very first stitch, grab the yarn, pull up <coughs> and work a half double crochet. And this is all we have to do. So just one half double crochet in every stitch. So 
so just one half double crochet in every stitch i'm almost here to the end it's very important not to miss the last stitch right here so just go through the last stitch and work your half double crochet for row four you will chain one turn your work around and again the first two stitches we will crochet together so yarn over insert into the first stitch grab the yarn pull up yarn over insert into the next stitch grab the yarn pull up you have five loops on your hook grab the yarn and pull through all five loops now into the next four stitches we will crochet just one half double crochet in every stitch and the last two stitches we will crochet together here is my fourth one and here if you turn it around you can see we have two stitches left and those two we will crochet together so the first one yarn over insert into the last stitch grab the yarn pull up five loops on your hook grab the yarn and pull through all the loops now again chain one turn your work around and now we will crochet one half double crochet in every stitch so yarn over insert into the very first one work your half double crochet and just one half double crochet in every stitch those trees work up really really fast and they're so much fun so here's our last stitch don't forget that stitch insert grab the yarn pull up and finish your half double crochet for row six you will chain one turn your work around and again the first two stitches we will crochet together so just like we did before you have five loops on the hook grab the yarn pull all pull through all five loops the next two stitches is just one half double crochet in every stitch and now the last two stitches we will crochet together so yarn over insert grab the yarn pull up and one more time yarn over insert into the last stitch grab the yarn pull up and pull through all five loops chain one turn your work around and now we have four stitches left one two three and four now we will crochet the first two together and the next two together so let's crochet the first two stitches together and the next two so yarn over insert grab the yarn pull up yarn over insert into the last stitch grab the yarn pull up Five loops on the hook grab the yarn and pull through all the loops now chain one again turn your work around and we have only two stitches left so let's crochet those two together so yarn over insert grab the yarn pull up yarn over insert into the next stitch grab the yarn pull up now again five loops on your hook grab the yarn pull through all the loops and now let's finish off so all you have to do is grab the yarn chain one pull tight and let's cut the yarn grab your hook pull the hook all the way through and pull tight and now our work is all nice and secure now we will start with a slip knot because i like to start with a standing single crochet so just make a slip knot insert your hook pull tight and now let's 
grab our Christmas tree. I have the yarn end here on my right side. And now let's count the fourth stitch. So one, two, three, and four. So just go into the fourth stitch, just like this. Grab the yarn, pull up, and already we have two loops on the hook. So grab the yarn and pull through all the loops. And this is our first single crochet. Now go into the next one. One single crochet, go into the third. We will have four single crochets in total. So here are my four single crochets. Now let's chain one, turn the work around, and again we will work four single crochets. So one, two, three, and into the last stitch also a single crochet. This is good enough for me. Of course, if you would like to make it longer, just um, repeat this row one more time. But I'm going to finish off here. So all I'm going to do is chain one, pull tight, grab my scissors, cut, grab the hook, pull through all the way, and pull tight. And now all we have to do is just sew in the yarn ends and we finished our Christmas tree. To sew in the yarn end, you will need a darning needle, pull the yarn through, and now I'm just going to find stitches I can work the yarn through. So let's start here on top. I will go through some stitches, pull through, just don't pull too tight. Now I will turn my work, go through the opposite side, but you can go down just like me. Turn your work around and again through the opposite side, through some stitches. And now I can cut the yarn. And this is all you have to do with the other three yarn ends. Now I will take some textile glue. Of course, you can use any glue you would like. And let's attach the tiny pom-poms. So just put a little bit of glue on it, just like this. and them on and the glue will turn see-through so you won't even see where the glue is so let's decorate our tiny Christmas tree I attached the pom-poms and we are done. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. I can't wait to see your tiny Christmas trees. Have a great time crocheting and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.